Hi, it's Chris and Goran from PickDogs.com. Here with your free pick in the Ukraine versus England Euro 2021 quarterfinal soccer matchup on July 3rd, 2021. We have tons of content over at PickDogs.com, so make sure you go over and check it out. And we do more free pick videos than anyone, so subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up. Oh, Goran, there were chance of it's coming home with England when they when they took down Germany. And you also got a Ukraine side that's uh, you know proven to be no pushover. So what do you think is going to happen in this one? Yeah, this Ukraine team is actually incredible to me. You know, they got through the group stage with only three points, and I was watching that game against Sweden, and I gotta say, it was super fun, man. Left, right, left, right, post here, crossbar there on the Sweden side. Holy crap, that was a good game. First half ended one-one. A lot of a lot of great chances in second half on both sides. Both teams defended. I'm not gonna say defended well because they both created a lot of chances, but. It went to overtime, and then in the in the last 30 seconds of the overtime, Ukraine scored that goal from that fantastic cross, and uh, I gotta say it's been well deserved. Uh, but the problem for Ukraine is they will be without the player who got injured in that game against Sweden, and that's a pretty important player for this Ukrainian team. Uh, England on the other side, up, well, people are gonna say they have great defense, but let's be honest, uh, except Germany. There hasn't been a team that created a decent chance against them. And uh, even though they're still yet to concede a goal in this tournament, they haven't been scoring a lot. They scored two goals against Germany, but it was in the second, late second half. And I think they were actually pretty lucky in that game. for 1-1 in the 85th minute. Uh, and we all know how England is doing in, in, in the overtime and in the penalty shootouts. They don't like that at all. Uh, they did score two goals. Harry Kane finally got on the score sheet. Uh, is that going to open up the tournament for him? Could be. I don't think the Ukraine has the defensive capabilities to stop this England's offense, especially if, if, if Jack Relish is going to be playing. But uh, I just can't see Ukraine going through in this game. But I'm going to take the over in this one. I, I, I think this game could easily go 3 nothing for England. Maybe even three one if 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 Ukraine maybe pulls one through, but uh, I'm taking the over. Yeah, another one where Gordon and I are on the same page. I like the over here as well. You know, a lot of criticism came early in this tournament, and even dating back to the, you know, the last major tournament where England reached the semifinal for for Gareth Southgate's you know team selection. And now look at it. Yes, you know we can say that there wasn't much of a challenge for England. But the proof is in the pudding. They still haven't conceded a goal, even when they can, against a tough Germany team. And now they're coming into this as, as the clear favorites in this matchup. And, you know, I still think that this is going to be a game where England controls it from the opening opening whistle. I think this is, they're going to force the issue. And I do think that we see England go back to sort of a, a back four to get Jack Relish back in the lineup. And, you know, Harry Kane and Raheem Sterling. This is still a very, very good English attacking side. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to be tough for Ukraine to even crack the seal. They could end up being the one team that, you know, gets one past England here, maybe makes things interesting at 2-1. But either way you slice it, we're getting even money with the over here between an England team that's, you know, proven that they can score and that, you know, they, they scored two against Germany. I, I struggle to think what, uh, what they'll, or sorry, I shudder to think what they'll do against uh, a Ukraine team that could have easily allowed th three goals in that game against Sweden. So... You know, I think uh, I think we do have an over here. I could easily see, like Gorn said, three nil, three one, for England. But uh, yeah, I'm on the over here as well. But Gorn, do you want to do recap? Yeah, you know, I was reading before this tournament. The the English fans were saying, "Oh, Saugin has ten defenders in his roster," but now when they haven't conceded the goal in their four games, the fans are saying, "Oh, wow, what a great tactician and whatnot." I don't know, but. Uh, the problem for me is that England has only two goal scorers right now, and if one of them fails, I'm questioning where the goals will come from. We know that England has a ton of ton of offensive firepower, but Sancho still hasn't played a minute in this tournament. Uh, Rashford hasn't been doing much in this tournament as well. You know, you have Sterling. He was in bad form be before the tournament, but he scored three goals here. Now he, he's he's their best player. But if if Ukraine manages to shut him down, I don't know what's going to happen with this England team. But uh, I know that in, in, in the last video we were talking that that uh, Pickford isn't doing so good in this tournament yet. But he had a great game against Germany. 
he kept the clay, the clean sheet, and that's another confidence boost. But uh, I think it's about time that we see England scoring at least two or three goals in the game, and uh, at least one of them going over. And I think this is going to be the, the this one. But if you're looking for our best bets, the games that we absolutely love and the ones we have our money on, you can find those in the premium area over at the website. Just go to pickdogs.com, click on the premium picks tab at the top of the page, and get Goran's best bets, my best bets, as well as best bets from some of the other top handicappers in the world. If you're looking for even more free picks, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us for our live show every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the drive through We give out tons of free picks on those shows, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, join us, smash the like button.